the reply and, and to have an opportunity uh, of, of, uh, of supplementaries. Passport service operated uh, in partnership with OnPost uh, offers a, a targeted turnaround time of 15 working days from posting for, uh, for correctly completed uh, uh, passport renewal applications. I want to underline that this is a target turnaround time and not a stated guarantee. First time passport applications take longer as the identity of the person as well as their entitlement to citizenship uh, must be established. As in from the 23rd of May, uh, compared to the same time last year, uh, demand is up to the order of 13%, which in the circumstances is exceptional. There were over 68,200 passport applications being processed on the same date. Uh, so I, I um, wish to assure um, uh, the Deputy that in the case of Passport Express renewal applications, which account for around 90% of all applications in the state, uh, once the application is correctly completed and received, uh, the target date is 13 to 14 working days. Uh, Deputy Dara Ryan. Uh, good morning, good morning, and uh, thank you very much for your kind wishes, and I too would like to wish you well in your reappointment as, as Minister, and indeed um, to Minister for State uh, Joe McHugh and Minister of State Dara Murphy, and I do very much look forward to working working with you in a spirit of cooperation. And um, just, Minister, on, specifically on the question itself, um, I am aware that the target turnaround time is 15 working days. The problem is at the moment is that turnaround time is not being met. Uh, people who have made applications within the assuming a 15-day turnaround are being told now that that has been extended out to 30 days. Now I am aware that there has been a significant increase in the in, in the volume, but what I wanted really to get a handle on was what steps the passport office through your department are taking to deal with the increased workload. Uh, it is causing a lot of stress for, for families who have saved hard to go away on a holiday and to travel. And that is an issue, and I think it's something that, that needs to be very much focused on in your department to try and bring the average turnaround time back to 15 days. To conclude, I would also say is that the new requirement uh, at Cahirli, um for new applications uh, and brand new lost or stolen, there's a requirement now for the new public uh, service card to be produced with the application. Now, the issue there is that many people have not been actually issued with a public service uh, card, and um, they then have to book an appointment. So it further elongates the process. I'm raising it with you on the basis that there is a problem right now. I know the passport, the staff within the, within the office do as well as, uh, you know, I, I'll conclude now. But it is a, it, it is a quite a major issue. I'm receiving a great deal of complaints about it, and a lot of anxiety is causing people who, are, who have spent a significant amount of money on foreign holidays who are finding now that they may not be able to travel. Thank you, Deputy, and I'm anxious to bring the, the, the session into, into A number of specific issues possible. have been raised, Gerda, by the Deputy. In respect of the public services card, uh, this is used increasingly uh, as an efficient and secure means uh, to access government services, um, including social welfare services for the purposes of the free travel. Already there are uh, in excess of 1.8 million uh, uh, such cards in circulation. Uh, I believe it's important uh, that this measure be recognised in the context of the fight against fraud. Uh, on what we're doing in respect of the, of the challenging circumstances in the passport office, um, I wish to assure the Deputy that every effort is being, made, is being made to ensure our targets are met. A total of 223 temporary clerical officers have been recruited so far this year, which is an increase uh, to the order of 52 on last year. In view of the sustained increase in applications over last year, processing work has been redistributed across passport offices in recent months, and staff have been redeployed from other areas of the department to, uh, as a response to the increased workload. Uh, so I wish to assure you that we will continue to closely monitor the situation, but uh, my advice um, is for people uh, intending travelling to check the validity of passports before booking a holiday, to remind people that children's passports vary in length of validity and indeed to follow best practice and to allow a total of six weeks before the intended date of travel. Thank you, Minister. Yeah, I, I, pre I appreciate that, Minister, and I am um, I'm glad that it, it, this needs to be kept as a watching brief, and, and um, certainly I'll be keeping an eye on it as well uh, with regard, but I'll certainly pass on your response to those who have been in touch with me. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy. That's the Deputy, indeed. All deputies, I'd remind them to the effect that the passport service update. Uh, its website 
um, on a weekly basis with updated turnaround times uh, on, on, post par on, post, uh, on Passport Express re renewal applications are currently taking 13, 14 working days to process. The Passport Express uh, the, the first time application is taking somewhat longer. Uh, however, every effort is being made to meet this unprecedented challenge within the Passport Office, and I'll keep the Deputy and others fully informed, having regard to the points raised Thank by you, Deputy O'Brien. Question number two.